Hello everyone, if you want to establish the relationship between two economic variables such as price of a product and its demand, then using the scatter plot is the best option for you. By plotting the price on the x-axis and demand on the y-axis, economists can analyze how changes in price affects the quantity demanded. Moreover, it can be used in numerous other fields such as engineering, physics, psychology and more. So, this is Jihadri and Jim from ExcelDB and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a scatter plotter in Excel with two variables. So, the first question occurs, what is a scatter plot in Excel? The association between two variables is depicted by a two-dimensional chart known as scatter plot, also known as XY graph. Both horizontal and vertical axes of a scatter graph are valuable axes used to plot numerical data analysis. The dependent variable is typically on y-axis, whereas the independent variable is typically on the x-axis. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here, we have the name of the months, advertising budget, and nong of products sold in column B, C, and D. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. In our first method, we'll be using Excel charts option to create scatter plot with two variables. To do that, at first we'll select the C and D column, go for the insert tab and here in the chart section, we'll go for the scatter chart. After that, we can also edit them a little bit. Suppose you can go for the chart element option. And if you want to get the data levels, so you can easily get it by using tick option to it. Also, if you want to remove the grid line here, then untick the grid lines so that it can be shown properly. You can also add the access titles by tick on it. Now, we have got both the access titles here. We can easily edit them and name them according to our wish. So at first, we want to get the nong of product solves in the y-axis. So we'll type it down here, nong of products sold in the y-axis and we'll name the x-axis as the advertising budget. So write down the advertising budget here in the x-axis. So that's how we have created the scatter plot with two variables by using the charts option. VBA code can be another way to create a scatter plot in Excel with two variables. To do that, at first we'll go for the developer tab and select Visual Basic to open the Visual Basic Editor. Alternatively, we can use Alter plus F11 in the keyboard to open the same. Now, we'll go for the Insert tab and select the module to create a new module here in this section. Now, we can easily write down the code to create a scatter plot here. So, at first, we'll start the code by using the declaration of the subroutine sub here and then we'll write down the name of the subroutine create scatter plot and in the next section we'll go for the declaration of the variable so we'll use the deem and go for the name of the variable which is the scatter chart and now we want to define which type of scatter plot we want to use so we'll go for the chart section to declaration of the type and next we want to set the key of the variable which we want to use here so we'll go for the scatter chart here and now we'll go for the charts dot add to add the variable within the scatter chart and next we'll go for the with scatter chart option which basically means we want to get the source of the variable here so we'll go for it and as set source data we'll go for to get the source data where we want to use this code now we want to get a space to hit the source here so write down the source write down the sheet section where we need to get the result from the scatter plot so write down the scatter plot as the name of the sheet where we want to get the source from and go for the range section write down the selection of the range here so we'll write down c4 to d6 
16 here in the range and after that we'll move on to our next portion here we have got the chart type so write down the chart type here in this section we'll use the equal sign and now we'll go for the selection of the scatter plot so write down excel and here so we're trying to get the scatter plot so we'll guys select the scatter plot here and now we need to end it so we'll use the end width and after that we'll move on to the end sub here so that's how we have got the perfect code here now go for the run section and click on the run to get the perfect result here you can easily edit them by going for the chart elements and click on the data labels and also untick the grid lines. So that's how we have created the scatter plot with two variables using the VBA code. So that's it for today. You can follow any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.